John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. John here again. I got beef with you. Your people gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... E e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Hey, sorry, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but... I called recently about some noises I was hearing, and the info I was sent seems to be incorrect, as I just found a family of mice in my attic. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you folks get really busy and mistakes happen. Just thought I'd give you a, a tap and let you know. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Coming from my living room, but 
When I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Ugh, that info you sent me was useless. These cleaning crooks are still breaking into my house and taking who knows what. The cops won't help, and you're useless. So thanks for nothing. inside my house. I heard something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please! It's still crawling in the walls! Those instructions you sent didn't work at all! I'm going stir crazy here! I still haven't been able to sleep! I hope you all rot! Hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet, so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. <laughs> for the terrible advice he sent me. My kid just fell through the frickin' wall from all the damage they dealt, and we found out on our own what was going on. See you never. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! It wasn't Bob from accounting! It wasn't Bob at all! I thought I'd scurry away! Why didn't you warn me? What is this nonsense info you sent me? Why is it growing bigger? Get away! Stay back! or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. It's horrible. I followed your instructions, but it's not what you said it would be. I think it's angry at me. I hear it slithering this way. No! Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell.
still can't remember her. I still can't see her face. Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? <sighs> Hi, so I've been sleeping on the couch and now the pointy things are on the blanket I'm using and my legs are burning now. I have no idea what the point was of that stupid info packet you sent me, but it's definitely coming from me. Guess I have to shower every day now. Thanks for making me figure this out on my own. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my... problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling, I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Hello? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but... I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control. She told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! It's in my bedroom right now. It's watching me. I, I think it wants something from me. It's coming closer. It's coming from me. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? inside of me. What's going in my garden? Saw the x-ray. It's horrible. It's disgusting. Please, I'm in so much pain. Get it out of me. Tell the doctors to get it out of me. The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. The info. The info you 
percent. No good. Can't sleep while it's watching me. I can't. I can't. It's... it's still out there, little creep. Hello, yes, I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. What kind of business are you running? I took the advice you sent us, and nothing has changed! Now I'm about to go into the attic myself to see if I can't find out for myself what's happening. So the least you could do is stay on the line to help. finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Thanks for that. 
Good news is I found Goblin. She freaking came crawling out of that hole with a big bump on her head or something, so I'm taking her to the vet now. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for trying, I guess. to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Now, thanks to the info you sent me not being effective in the slightest, this living room plant situation has only gotten worse. Now the floorboards and walls are starting to groan under the weight. There's something hiding in tall grass by the couch, and I don't think it's friendly. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's moving. Oh, it's moving. my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Alarms. 
even went off. Yes, hi again. I am calling for the last time to tell you that the advice you sent us was useless. So, thanks for nothing. Just the other night, I heard singing again. So, I've sought business elsewhere. I have a private security team investigating the greenhouse as we speak. What on earth? There's, there's some kind of insect in my house, and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but... I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? <laughs> that thing bit my hand! I was just turning off one of my lamps and it, it latched on and it bit me! What was that thing? Oh, why do I feel sick? Am I gonna die? It's Matt! Get away, you nasty thing! It... It took my daughter! It took my daughter! She... She's gone! It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it! I saw it with my own eyes! Please, send help! The police won't do anything! Send help! I should step through it. 
Yeah, I think, I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. Trying to reach you cannot connect to this earthly plane. Please try again later. This might like sound strange, but I think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom. Like I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tendrils or like tendrils or you know whatever but when I turned on the lights nothing was there <laughs> I checked under the towel like under you know like that little soap thing and everything but I know it's somewhere like it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain it's still gotta be hiding in here <laughs> Still good here. 
My brother has been taken care of, and you no longer need to concern yourself with our household. Good day.
special and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Oh, Sheila here again. I called recently to ask about some buzzing in my cupboard, and the instructions I was sent d didn't work. I still hear the... The buzzing, and it's giving me the most awful headache. Oh, oh, it's in my tea! It's in my tea! Hi, we need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Hi. My husband and I followed through on the information that you sent us, but we're still not feeling great. I've been having an extra terrible vivid sleep paralysis, and my husband has started using a machine for sleep apnea now, so that's lovely. I think we'll be getting in touch with a new doctor, so I suppose we're no longer in need of your services. Have a good day. Yeah, by the Google. Rosso! 